Narrative is more than just a beginning, a middle and an end. It's the realisation of an idea. Children respond to well-structured stories by making connections, using their imaginations and by predicting what might happen. What do you think the book might be about? A duck. A duck? What do you think he's doing, Tiana? He's digging. He's digging. He's digging. <coughs> he's, he's, he's raking. Could be raking. He's digging. He's got a long, long... <coughs> could, could be a spade. spade. Could be a rake. Why is there a duck it, and it's a farmer? Good question. We'll find out in the story, won't we? Very good question, Eva. And it's a warm day. Do you think that's why the door's open? Yeah. Can you see the door's wide open there? Oh, and what's up there? The balloon. The balloon, and it snuggles up against the ceiling, hasn't it? And then the balloon's going to float out. Do you think so? Yeah. Should we find out? <gasps> and there are lots of birds. Where's the balloon? Yeah. What do you think's going to happen? It. Dinner for potatoes. I could be. I don't know what he's doing. <coughs> what do you think he's thinking there? He's just doing the work without the farmer. Yeah. What do you think might happen when they both look after her? Um, what could happen? They will argue. You think they might argue? Um, they're, they're arguing now. Look. When they both look after her, when her mum and dad go away, what do you think could happen? They're arguing. Do you think they could carry on arguing? Yeah. Do you think Alvina will be happy if they're arguing? No. She, she will be shouting like this, STOP! I remember as a child poring over my picture books and looking at every little detail and each detail adds more meaning to the story. We never wanted to come out of the warm water. So what do you think might be happening up here? Toby, what do you think? Uh, they might be saying they will see. Do you think they're having fun? Yeah. They all look like they're enjoying themselves in there. Yeah. When I go outside, I play with me at the sea. Oh, you play in the sea? If you look at the way the children get completely hooked by the little pictures, the little images on the front cover of a balloon for Grandad, pouring over them and then searching through the book to find them, and searching through that book to find the story in the images as well as just looking at pictures. It is Grandad, it is Grandad Abdullah. And look, he lives on the island. And he's got goats. He has I goats. Can you see it? Let me. Me. I, I saw it. Did you see it? Goat. Goat. Let's have a look. Goat. There's the goat, goat picture. That's why it's there. Children need to be engaged in what they're reading. And the engagement is where we find the opportunities as teachers to interact with children and intervene with them in their understanding of what they're doing in their reading. And that is just as important and just as valuable in their reading of image as it is in their reading of print. They both sobbed over supper and their tears dripped into the soup and made it even saltier. Why were they crying? Because the dog didn't come home. I know, and were they happy? No, they were sad. Very sad. They were crying, they were so sad.